Right, okay, so I've got something a bit different to show you today with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, and that is a paintbrush called the Flow that has been designed specifically for tablets and smartphones. Um, it was actually a Kickstarter project that I bought, it was quite a while ago now, it was probably at the end of last year. Um, and it is perfect for the Note 10.1 because of its pressure sensitivity. Um, the brush works really well with it. I did give it a try with um, the original Note and it does work well with that, but the Note 10.1, bigger surface area, the pressure sensitivity has been improved, so it's just better in general for using the paintbrush with. Um, so I've got this little tennis Android figurine that I'm gonna to paint today. And I'm using an app called Markers, which is actually created by a Google employee called Daniel Sandler. And it's probably one of the best painting apps that I've come across for Android. The pressure sensitivity is very good on it. Um, and yeah, it just works very well with the brush, with, even with a stylus, with your finger, it works very well. So just gonna do a quick size comparison with the stylus that comes with the Note 10.1. So there you can see that that's the S Pen that's included with the Note 10.1. And then this is the Flow, which is weighted the same as a normal paintbrush, same size. If you picked it up, you, you would think it was a normal paintbrush, but you've got these bristles that are used for the touchscreen. Um, and it does work very well. So even selecting the tools in the Markers app, you don't need to use your finger, it's sensitive enough to just pick up a touch of the paintbrush. So just get started sketching out the little android man. So this is, this is the thinnest I've got it on, so I just make it a bit thicker. I've not got a solid fill there actually, I just change the fill to solid. Now you can see it's starting to sketch it out a bit better. So it is very sensitive to the touch of the brush, um, which makes it easy for sketching. The Markers app comes with several different thickness sizes, so you can change it quite easily if you want to feel more of the surface area. So here we go. My painting and drawing skills don't really do the brush and the Note 10.1 combination justice. Um, so if there are any digital artists out there that have a note 10.1 and think they could come up with something a bit special with the brush get in touch and uh, we'll see if we can arrange something for you to have a go with the brush um, so yeah just select a bit of a bigger fill so I can fill it in Just got a little black hair cut as knee, so just fill that in a bit. So with the markers app, you can, you don't have to use a solid fill. You can make it a bit translucent, which means you can layer it. So, you know, if you did want to paint flesh tones, um, you can build up a bit of a color profile. Um, the app is nice and simple. There, there are some other good painting apps out there for Android. Um, ZenBrush has been released for the Note 10.1. That's not bad. That's got good pressure sensitivity as well. Um, what I like about the Markers app is it is nice and simple, so you haven't got too many options. Um, so let me just put his eyes in now. His tennis jumper. And his little headband he's got. Um, like I said, this, this drawing really doesn't do the paintbrush and the Note 10.1 justice. Um, you could do a lot better, you know, if you, if you had time to sit down and create 
a proper painting, then, then you could come up with something quite special for it. Um, just show you the eraser tool as well. So it's nice and easy to undo something that you've put on there. Um, but yeah, if, if, you, if you were going to sit here and try to paint something and build it up properly, spend a few hours on it, then, then you could come up with something really special um, with this. But it's just really to show you the concept of using the brush. It is nice and easy to, to write with it, just like it is with a stylus. So yeah, just to look at the, the flow with the Note 10.1, um, just to show you what it can do.